Hey guys, I got this uh, chimney sweep kit off of Amazon and I wanted to give it a try. It actually looks a lot like what the professionals used who came to my house the last time I had my chimney cleaned. And unfortunately, I have a very steep pitch on my roof so I don't feel comfortable going up on the top and using a wire brush. So, I wanted to try cleaning it from the inside. Um, I know the wire brushes do a really good job. This thing has a nylon chimney brush, but unlike the wire brush, you hook it up to a power driver and it spins inside the chimney. So I'm going to give it a try and uh, I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. I'm going to open it up, put it together, and just see how it does. If you are coming to this video and you're watching it because you're interested in trying things on your own at your house, trying to fix your own issues at the house, uh, fixing your own car, working on you know a farm, whatever it is that you're into, this is the place because I just put videos together on whatever it is that I have to work on that day. So if you enjoy that kind of thing and you want to learn a little bit, then this is the place to come. So I encourage you, please subscribe, click the notification bell, and if you find this information to be useful or if you have questions, please just put it in the comments and I do check them and I'll respond to you and hopefully we can get your answers, get you answers to your questions. Alright, so opening this thing up, comes in a box, see, this is our nylon brush. Looks like it comes with one. I should note that I actually purchased the 33 foot version of this. It was somewhere in the middle and I found that you can actually buy extra attachments if you need them but I think 33 feet is going to be good for my chimney. So this is the head sweeper. Looks like a kind of feels like a weed whacker or a weed trimmer, whatever you want to call them. It's like it comes with some tools, an adapter. This adapter must click into here. Okay, it clicks in. Looks good. It's probably not what that, where that goes. Plastic. Thanks. Chinese gloves. No thanks. Now these are what matters. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten of these. And I would put these at about three and a half feet. And they don't look like they're three feet. Alright, so curiosity got the best of me. I wanted to know how long these actually are. And they are approximately 39 inches a piece. So 10 times 39 inches, 390 inches, doesn't sound like 33 feet to me. These clip together. They have a little spring loaded button retainer. They just seem to go together pretty quick. These end pieces are metal, which is good. And it appears that these plastic flexible pieces, they seem like they're solid. Doesn't look like they're hollow, so that's promising. These actually go together pretty decently. I'm kind of impressed. Alright, so that might be good. So, I will put one here. This is our starter. I'm a little concerned that unless I really get this thing rotating, that it's not going to fan out like I would like to see it fan out. So what I'll do is I'll hook up my drill to it and see how much I actually have to spin this thing to get it to fan out. Oh, okay. Doesn't take much, it fans out pretty decent. So, let's move on and take a look at our chimney. In the basement right now, the wood stove is actually on the first floor. 
So I'm going to go through the chimney bypass, I think it's called. Uh, so I'm going to take the straight route up, and then I'm going to clean the chimney area that goes from the wood stove. It's like a four-fit piece and ties into the main chute. I'm going to clean that separately, but from the basement I figured I'd have the easiest straight shot up. So uh, right here on the wall is where the chimney access or clean out is. So we're going to remove that after getting all this junk out of the way. look too bad in there. Alright, since you fit in there a lot better than I do, looks like there's a little bit of junk sitting at the back there. And I'm going to have to get this thing up through there. So let's see how I do. I'll just leave the flashlight right there. Hopefully we can make this first turn. Oh, that's supposed to make it up there. Feels like it's gone. Okay, one. Got one in there. Up in a second one. Oh, wow. Okay, now we're moving. Now, we'll see if I have any issues removing this thing after the fact. Okay, now we're still. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them all in until this stops, and I'm gonna clean from the top down. Oh, well, all right then. Got things falling out. I think I'm at least to the first floor because I know that the chimney is really nasty up where the wood stove is. like wood stove. Alright, so I have two pieces left. I don't know if I'm gonna get all the oh wait. No, I'm still going. Still going. This is my last piece. If I don't hit the top right now, I'm in trouble. Yeah, I don't feel like I hit the top. There's a lot of stuff falling out. So I went outside to see if I was anywhere near the top, and I don't see this thing up there and it keeps going so I'm gonna say I'm not at the top and I don't have enough pieces however if I run this through the pipe that goes uh, from the wood stove upstairs I do think that I'll be able to make it to the top but at any rate let's see how much of a mess this makes I'm going to hook up my power driver to it and we're going to see what happens. Oh man, alright. Good news, it makes a huge mess, it works.
Well, it seems to work. Oh, I'm making a huge mess. I need to go get my shop back to clean all this up. Should I should mention that I haven't used this uh, wood stove since last year. So what I'm doing is I'm just running it with the driver and then I'm slowly pulling back so that it works its way down the chimney slowly. This makes a huge mess. I'm just going to mention that right now. Not a big deal, but it definitely makes a big mess. I, I say that in comparison to when you do it with a wire brush, everything just falls straight down and it falls into a closed system. I've never cleaned a chimney from the bottom where everything is falling down while you're cleaning, so it's just dumping out on the floor. It's fine. This stuff is very old and very dry. I'm not concerned about getting it on the floor or anything. It doesn't seem to be all that dusty, but it makes a huge mess. Just for reference. <laughs> So now that I have everything cleaned up, I found that having the shop vac running while doing this was a much better option. It seemed to clean it up a lot better. I didn't get so much falling out onto the floor. And it didn't seem to get as dusty, which is probably just a result of not as much falling out on the floor. So I would say that this system works. It went together fairly good, it stayed together, which was my biggest concern. I thought that these connectors were just going to slip and fall apart and then I would have pieces stuck up in the chimney, which would put me in a worse situation than when I started this project. But I was wrong. Uh, they stayed together just fine. My second concern was that the the cleaning brush itself would just fall apart and it does look like it's fine. Um, I'm not sure if these are replaceable. It doesn't seem like they really want to go in or out so I presume that you would just need to buy a new head one if these start breaking off but looking at the tips of these it looks like most of the work was done by the tips which is good uh, rather than the sides and they seem to clean they're definitely by everything that fell out I would say that it cleaned just fine if I had the choice I'd probably buy this again although I would have gotten more pieces I thought that I would have enough to go from the basement up to the top of the chimney but I was wrong uh, I will probably just buy a couple extra pieces if I can get just two or three of them uh, otherwise, I'll finish cleaning this time 
by uh, cleaning from the second floor wood stove or the first floor wood stove. So I hope that if this was helpful, if you were looking into getting one of these chimney sweep kits, uh, they are fairly inexpensive and they work very well. I will say as a disclaimer that this doesn't replace having a professional actually look at your chimney. I had my chimney inspected last year. Uh, they cleaned it well, they inspected it, they gave me some recommendations which weren't exactly major issues, they just wanted to do some repointing, but I feel like they always say that. But I do have confidence that my chimney is in good shape. If I had any concerns about my chimney, I certainly wouldn't be ignoring it because obviously that's a fire hazard and you don't want your house to burn down. So please get your chimney inspected by a professional, but it if your chimney is in decent shape then there's no issue cleaning it yourself I'm not one of those people who are gonna say go and have a professional do it don't bother doing it yourself because um, I don't think that that's necessary and I like to do things myself so that I can see how well of a job I do again thank you for watching I if you've made it this far then you're certainly a true fan and I appreciate that I appreciate you watching and I hope that if you learn, if you have questions or if you learn something new, that you'll take a moment to just say so in the comments. Uh, if you hated this video, you go ahead and say so in the comments. <laughs> it's fine with me. All right. Well, thanks again.